message we want to convey as a group uh, to the students, uh, to families, the college community, and to the public is this is a very serious matter and we're not waiting to act. As women of the House and Senate, we are committed, determined, and united to take action to address sexual violence on our school campuses. When things began to happen at UConn and some of the young women there were saying they really didn't feel that they were heard or that efforts were made to make their environment safe, that's something that resonated with all of us across party lines. Obviously, uh, their allegations uh, were of paramount concern to us, and we wanted to go back and look at the policies and procedures and what, uh, if any, Connecticut could be doing better. The bill um, takes that existing legislation and requires universities and colleges across the state in a uniform manner to have clear memorandums of understanding with the providers, independent outside providers of services uh, to help victims, uh, not only to help them immediately with their physical needs and to get help for those, but with reporting uh, and counseling, treatment, and understanding all of their options. <music>I think that was really what was disturbing with uh, the cases at the University of Connecticut and the other cases that came to light was really how um, students were handled afterwards, after a uh, reporting incident. Obviously, the first focus is prevention, but once, once you've had an assault, you know, is, is it a safe environment and is it a, is it a supportive environment? Do students feel comfortable coming forward and reporting? Do they know they're going to be treated, um, treated well and uh, supported? I think that for us the ideal outcome is that institutions um, are taking a little bit of a larger responsibility and that the responses in some ways are institutionalized so that across the campuses everybody has access to their rights, everybody knows what those rights are, what their various options are, and that survivors uh, across the board feel supported in whatever option they might choose after surviving a sexual assault. One of the other things that we know about sexual assault is that we need ongoing training, so annually, making sure that SART team members are trained annually. A SART uh, is a sexual assault response team, and what they are is anybody the survivor might come in contact with or need to come in contact with following disclosing a sexual assault. So for example, you definitely would want victim advocates there, both on and off campus. You would want law enforcement or whatever sort of local police police force might be present on the campus. You certainly would want outside police. You would want maybe a prosecutor present. You would want folks in health and wellness present. You would want counseling present. Anybody that a student might need to interact with. The bottom line with sexual assault on college campuses is we expect to send our students to a safe learning environment. Learning is not going to take place if, if someone doesn't feel supported, um, if they don't feel safe. And that's a basic, whether you're a parent sending your child away or a student um, who's away from home for the first time, uh, you want to know that you're someplace that is not tolerant of a sexual violence on campus.